Hi there! My name's Ben, and I'm an educator with Embracing Our Differences. A lot of students know about Embracing Our Differences because they've taken a free field trip to our annual outdoor exhibit and seen the 50 billboard size artworks and quotations created by students and adults from around the world. Perhaps you've even worked with your teacher to create one of the more than 10,000 student artworks and quotations submitted each year and had your entry chosen for the Embracing Our Differences annual exhibit. At Embracing Our Differences, we strive to create a world that's filled with kindness and respect. And today we're thrilled to explore a new book with you alongside a VIP reader and teaching artist from our community. Teachers, if you'd like to pause the video at any time during the VIP read-along to discuss the book, or during the teaching artist activity to complete one of the activity tasks, please do not hesitate to do so. Now, are you ready to read along with your VIP reader? Let's go! Hi everyone, my name is Maria Shedler-Vuera and I'm a Van Wezo teaching artist. Today I'm going to read with you Mango, Abuela and Me by Meg Medina, illustrated by Angela Dominguez. She comes to us in winter, leaving behind her sunny house that rested between two snaking rivers. Her old place was too much for just one, Mommy tells me as we make room in my dresser for her clothes. And too far away for us to help, Poppy adds. Abuela belongs with us now, Mia. But I still feel shy when I meet this far away grandmother. Pin, pan, pun. Papi unfolds Abuela's bed and slides it right next to mine. You will get to know each other, he says. But when I show Abuela my new book, she can't unlock the English words. We can only look at the pictures and watch Edmund race on his wheel. Then just before we turn out the light, she pulls out two things tucked inside the satin pocket of her suitcase. A feather, una pluma, from a wild parrot that roosted in her mango trees, and a snapshot, una fotografia, of a young man with Papi's smile. Tu abuelo, she says, climbing into bed. Snuggled in my pajamas, I smell flowers in her hair, sugar and cinnamon baked into her skin. That night, I dream of a red bird circling in the sky. The rest of the winter, while Mommy and Papi are at work, Abuela awaits for me to get home from school. Then we bundled up in thick socks and handmade sweaters to walk to the park and toss bread to the sparrows. My Espanol is not good enough to tell her the things an abuela should know, like how I am the very best in art and how I can run as fast as the boys. And her English is too poquito to tell me all the stories I want to know about Abuelo and the rivers that ran right outside their door. With our mouths as empty as our bread baskets, we walk back home and watch TV. Abuela and I can't understand each other, I whisper to mommy. Things will get better, Mommy says. Remember how it was with Kim? Kim is my best friend at school. When she was new, our whole class helped teach her English words. Now Miss Wilson sometimes has to say, please be quiet girls, others are working. After school the next day, while Abuela and I are making meat pies for our snack, I pretend I am Miss Wilson. Dough, I say, pointing to the ball. Abuela says, dough, masa, and rolls it flat. Masa, 
I say. She drops a spoonful of meat in place. Carne. Carne, I say. Meat. Pasas. Raisins. Aceite. Oil. Then I remember the word cards we taped in our classroom to help Kim. So while Abuela fries our empanadas, I put up word cards too, until everything is covered, even Edmund. Soon we are playing Oye y Di, hear and say, all around the house. But that night, she still calls my pillow a palo, and she says Edmund is a gangster. We'll keep practicing, I whisper. But the next day, I cannot practice with Abuela after all. Edmund has run out of his favorite seeds, so Mommy and I have to ride the bus downtown to buy more. Sometimes there are kittens sleeping in the pet shop window, but when we arrive this time, something even better is behind the glass. Look, I say. The window has become a jungle filled with birds. And right in the middle is a parrot staring at us with black bean eyes. I press my nose to the glass, thinking of the red feather Abuela gave me. Let's buy him, I tell Mommy. But Mia, you already have Edmund, Mommy says. Oh, not for me, I say, for Abuela, like the parrot that lived in her mango trees. He can keep her company when I'm at school. When we bring him home to Abuela, she says, Un loro, a parrot. We name him Mango because his wings are green, orange, and gold, like the fruit. During the day, Abuela teaches him how to give Piki kisses and to bob his head when she sings Los Pollitos to him. Buenas tardes, Mango, Abuela says, opening his cage door when I get home from school. Good afternoon, I say, and give him a seed. Soon, Mango calls to me even before we open his cage. Buenas tardes, he says when I open the door. Good afternoon. Abuela, Mango, and I practice new words every day. Mi Español gets faster, and Abuela and Mango learn the days of the week, all the months of the year, and the names of coins. How did he learn all that? Papi asks when we show him all that Mango can do. Abuela winks at me and gives Mango a piece of banana, peel and all. Practice, she says. Before long, Abuela asks me how to say harder things too, so she can talk with the neighbors who stop by. Has the mailman come? It is chilly today. Can I get you some cookies and lemonade? Soon, when friends stop by to see Mango's latest tricks, they can understand everything Abuela says. But best of all, now when Abuela and I are lying next to each other in our beds, our mouths are full of things to say. I tell her all about my buen dia and show her my best pintura of Mango. Abuela reads my favorite book with only a little help, and she tells me new stories about Abuelo, who could dive for river stones with a single breath and weave a roof out of palms. I draw pictures for her, and she still misses their old house, she says, but now only a little bit. Mango listens to us from his perch until my eyes grow heavy. Hasta mañana, abuela, I say. Abuela kisses me. Good night, Mia. Hasta mañana. Good night, Mango calls. And soon we all fall asleep. The end. Thank you, everyone, for reading Mango, Abuela, and me. Isn't it fun reading a new book with a new friend? Now, let's continue to explore our new book alongside our guest teaching artist. 
Teachers, if you'd like to pause the video at any time during the teaching artist activity to complete a task, please do not hesitate to do so. Are you ready? Let's go! Mango Abuela and Me is a story that really touches my heart, mi corazón. My family and I are from Colombia and we speak Spanish. My two sons were born in the United States and they speak more English than they speak Spanish. And my parents recently came to visit us and they only speak Spanish. They do not speak English, just like Abuela. It was not easy for them to understand each other. And we don't have a beautiful parrot that will help them communicate. It was pretty much me repeating and translating como un lord, like a parrot. This beautiful story is so true for so many families and new friends that speak different languages. I was very inspired and it was so much fun. I didn't want this book to end. So I thought, what would be better than create a comic strip? Do you know what a comic strip is? A comic strip is a sequence of drawings in boxes that tell an amusing story. We will use three parts of a comic. Each square of the comic strip is called a panel. Three panels are a tear, and these fun little shapes are called speech bubbles, where the thoughts and words of our characters go. Let's make one together. You just need paper and markers. We're going to start drawing our panels to create a tier. Each panel is going to have a square shape. They can be in the same piece of paper or you can have three different pieces of paper like I'm doing right now. Square number one, and you go for square number two. You can draw them by hand. You don't need a ruler. They don't have to be perfect. You just need to, you just need to mark your squares like this. Okay, let's go for number three. Mm -hmm. Down the line and then we have it. Great. Now let's start with our characters. We're going to start with mango. Let's do a triangle for the beak, you can follow me or you can draw your own parrot. Let's down this line to create the body. From the beak you can draw another line and we're going to make the legs one and two. He looks like he's running. And then the eye. And we can use his beautiful colors. Uh, we're going to color the wing red and the inside of the eye. Let's use some orange for the beak. You can choose the colors that you want and you can create your own characters. We're just recreating here Mango with his beautiful golden color. And we're going to add some more green. And here we have our Mango. Next, I think I'm going to do Abuela. Okay, uh, we're going to start with the, la, the hairline. You see she has a beautiful hairline. And then around the head. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to draw some lines for the hair. It's going to give us some shape. Another line. She has some gray, beautiful hair. Now we're going to draw the jawline and her smiley eyes. 
and a very smiley mouth. I think she would like a red top. What do you think? Remember, you can think about other characters that you want to tell a story about. Or we can recreate together Mango, Abuela, and Mia. Now we're going to draw Mia. Okay, I'm going to draw the head first. And she also has a beautiful hairline. And we draw this curved line that goes down her face and comes back and creates like that ponytail. And we do the same with the lines for the hair, so we have some texture. And then we have the eyes. Bit here a teeny tiny nose and a smiley face. Now we're going to draw a shirt. Here is the neck, space for the shoulders. Another detail for the neck and the arms. And there we have them. Abuela, Mango and Mia. Now we're going to create the speech bubbles. We're going to do three different shapes. Let's start with a rounded one. Then you can change the color. And we can do another shape. Let's make a fun one. Let's see. Remember, there are no rules. What you want to create for the speech bubbles, it's going to work. And we're going to use another one that is more a squared shape. Okay, and now they can talk. Now I want them to use a little word, a big word, and a fun word, both in English and Spanish. Let's see, me, that's the little word, pequeño, that means little, but it's the big word, pequeño, and the fun word, kazoo. Can you say, mi pequeño kazoo? Mi pequeño kazoo. I hope you keep creating comics, playing with new words, and communicating with new friends. See you next time. Bye! Thank you so much for joining us today. For more bite-sized lessons and videos, visit embracingourdifferences.org and we hope to see you at our annual outdoor exhibit. Until then, Bye for now.